what kind of news moves stocks? Uh, this is a very frequently asked question and it's a little difficult to answer. I know you guys want like a one size fits all um, answer. That's not the way the stock market works. I highly encourage you to watch my trader checklist guide. Uh, it's 11 plus hours going over like a sliding scale of how news and catalysts can help or sometimes even hurt a stock. But just generally speaking, I want to buy quality news. I want to buy quality companies. When a company reports good earnings and the stock spikes, that is an earnings winner to me. Um, if a company reports good earnings and, and I think that they're good, like, oh, you know, I read that they were going to only report revenues of 50 million, but they came in with revenues of 55. So I personally think it's good earnings, but the stock doesn't react. That's not an earnings winner. The stock has to react in a positive way to show me that the news is meaningful. No matter what I think or no matter what you think about the news, we can misinterpret. The stock market is king, so respect the market. So whenever there's news, always be sure that there's a reaction. I don't want to trade a stock where the news is out and there's like no reaction and you know somehow I'm the only one who knows that. That's, that's dangerous. Um, you might be the only one who knows the news for a very long time. So if a stock does spike in reaction to earnings, and it keeps spiking, that's an earnings winner. Or sometimes a company will announce a contract with a big company and keep spiking. That's a contract winner. But be careful. If a stock, a little penny stock, announces a deal with a big company, and it's a big contract, right? And the press release seems amazing, and the stock does nothing, why? What's going on? Is this contract in doubt? Was this contract maybe already priced in? Is there something sketchy going on with this contract? Um, you have to be very, very aware of the stock spiking in reaction to the news. That is probably the most important thing and I see that most people get that wrong. Um, they just say the, the news is so good, why isn't the stock moving? Sometimes the news can be good and the stock will go the opposite way. There's a thing called buy the rumor, sell the news. Uh, if you're anticipating like FDA news, like where you've been waiting for this drug and you're waiting for it to get approved by the FDA and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting for months and then the FDA approves the drug and the stock drops. And everyone's like, what's going on? I don't understand the stock market. Because everybody was already anticipating it. It was already priced in. So sometimes good news is already included in the current stock price. You just don't know it. You just don't see it. And there's no way to know whether it's included or not. You have to wait for the reaction. So instead of asking me what is the right news that drives the stock, what is the right price action? And the right price action that moves the stock is a stock that is spiking 10, 15, 20, maybe 30, even 50 or 100% in a day. Lately, we've been seeing 500% or even 1,000% or 2,000% gainers in one day in penny stock land. It's a good time to be a penny stock trader, but whatever the news is, make sure that there's a reaction with the stock. The cool thing with penny stocks is that you have time. Even if it goes up 10, 20, 30, 50, 100% in one day, it can go up that amount on day two, as more and more people see the news. That's one of the benefits of being in the underfollowed niche of penny stocks. That does not work in other niches. Sometimes a big company like Cisco will report good earnings, it'll go up 20% that day, and that's the entire move. Okay, the company is up, the stock is up, and then it does nothing for three months. That's big cap stocks. So penny stocks, I think you have an advantage. You have that timing inefficiency where good news can get priced in over several days. Just the other day, I was buying TZOO. It was an earnings winner. I bought it at $8.25 on a dip and it already hit $9 a share pre-market. So I was thinking that it could get back up there. Sure enough, it did. I sold. I took my profits of less than 10%, but it was good profits in under an hour. Now, a few days later, it's over 13. So the stock is up another 75% in roughly a week on good earnings. It was already spiking. They reported good numbers. It continued to spike. That's what you should be looking for. Look for big ass spikes and good news and continuation moves. So uh, leave a comment underneath this video. Let me know if you understand this and please do watch my trader checklist guide. Also, if you want uh, more details. I, I mean, this is kind of a generalized video. If you want more detailed videos, get into my trading challenge, okay? That is where I have all these unique video lessons. One of my millionaire students, Mark Crook, has 500 plus video lessons. We also give uh, you know, weekly webinars. Challenge students get between two and four weekly webinars. 
So it's pretty awesome that my millionaire students and I are all teaching and you have to keep up with this. Every day, every week, there's new plays. Get with the program. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.